uh, we would like to welcome Anirudh Biswas. He has 11 years of extensive experience in working and leading software projects, automation and DevOps. He is the founder of WorldTinySolutions.com and firmly believes in simple things uh, that can change the world. He's going to speak on the topic. How can you contribute to security as a functional tester? Thank you. Uh, thank you for the introduction and welcome everybody. I just want to talk about a simple topic uh, which we every day uh, we can use while testing. So uh, as you can see, the topic is how can you contribute to security as a functional tester? So the reason I chose this topic is because I have observed that in our day to day life, uh, I mean, while we test in Agile, we concentrate mainly in the functional requirements which uh, are pertaining to the client. But there are many aspects in security which we which we can contribute, apart, even though if, if you have a dedicated security team. So without wasting any more time, let's go to the first slide. So what will be covered? That is tools and techniques which you already have access to and things which you can do apart from your daily testing activities. So, so moving on to the technique number one, the first one is very simple one. I think everyone have access to your Chrome browser. So have you ever seen the Chrome console? So in order to do that, all you have to do is right click on the Chrome browser and do an inspect, or you can just press the F12 key on your keyboard and the Chrome console is open. The three things uh, or the three tabs which you can check for pertaining to security is console logs, the network tab and security tab. What do you see there? I have a screenshot of the three tabs. In the security tab, you can check if all the certificates are valid, as you can see here. Then in the console, you can see all the log traits. So uh, as you can see, th these errors doesn't look like putting to your web application that is under test. But if you see something like get error, then maybe you have something to investigate. Similarly, if you go to the network tab, this monitors all the traffic uh, of which passes through the Chrome browser. So if you see any status which is failed, this is something you need to investigate. Moving on to technique number two, checking the component logs. So as you all know that all the system is made of different components. And even if you are testing the web application, you can uh, check the backend components and the, mainly the logs. So if you can see here, there are three different components, component one, two, and three. You, you, if you want to check the logs, you can ESSH or SSH to these logs. Mainly you can look for server.logs or application.logs. And what do you need to check in the logs pertaining to security? So here's, you should check if there are no secrets printed in the logs. That is no username and password should be printed in the logs. If you see them, that is something you should report. Then what about uh, the security modules? There shouldn't be any uh, uh, messages related to security modules like authentication failed and uh, authorization error, etc. And since I'm discussing logs, I just want to mention that if you see here, these are all debug logs. Uh, as you know, that these are mainly for debugging purposes. There's info. Even if you see something in info, it's nothing to worry about. But if you see something as error in the logs and mainly pertaining to security, that is something which you need, you can check and report. Moving on to the technique number three. That is that we all know that uh, if you can do a code walkthrough and unit test, then nothing like it. So if you have access to the code repository in your project, just pull the code repository in your local and search for <coughs> security authentication authorization. Here I have just pasted uh, a sample code which does a mutual authentication for Kerberos. So mainly as a tester, what do you uh, do? So make sure that all the unit tests exist pertaining to the security modules. If they do not exist, talk to the developer and then run the unit test and ensure they pass. So that's technique three for you. Technique four, 
security API checks. I think everybody, uh, everybody who has done some kind of API testing, you know this, that you have security endpoints which you can use. All you need to do is add those endpoints in Postman, add the correct username and password and send. If it's, it's a success, great. Even though it's success, try with the wrong password and click on send. Even now, if it works, then I guess you have some work to do. So moving on to the different APIs, I think uh, related to secure, uh, security, we all know that it's authentication, authorization, security configuration. Uh, anybody who have worked on you know, API testing, you would have come across these terms. Moving on to the step number five or uh, technique number five. So it's, it's uh, only for them who have hosted or listed their web application in uh, public domain. That is, if your uh, the application under test is accessible from, uh, I mean, network outside your workplace, then this is the technique. So there are many network scan uh, websites like ImmuniWeb. I personally like this one because the user interface is very easy. You have to enter the particular web URL you want to scan and just click on submit. It gives you a detailed report. You can download the report as well. So there are many other techniques, but we don't have time for that. I will just end by showing a security bug or is it really a bug? So here's uh, the Internet Explorer, the techniques I talked about in the first. So there are no need to mention what website it is. It's very popular. I do an inspect element and I go to console. And if you see, if I click on today's deals, you see something like HTTP security is compromised. Have you ever seen this in Amazon.com? Go and try this. I leave it up to the audience whether that's a severe bug or something which you can ignore. So you can contact me in uh, my LinkedIn uh, profile and also I have written a blog on security vulnerabilities. Uh, the link is here. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much Anirudh. It was quite insightful. Thank you.